Hello, welcome to my pronunciation course. Today we're going to cover two important vowel sounds which are commonly confused by foreign speakers of English. So the sounds are e, which is a long sound, and i, which is uh, a short sound. There's a lot of confusion between these sounds, and of course in English it's not clear from the spelling when you should use which sound. So I'm afraid you're just going to have to learn each individual word and so on. So first let me talk about i sound because it's a bit uh, more simple and probably easier to imagine. When you see anything which is like an I then it's usually but not always an i sound so maybe like bin where you put your rubbish or chin, this bit here. So how do you make this sound? It's really quite easy. You just totally relax your jaw here. I, I. Notice my tongue here. I, I. Slightly pointing downwards. I. Okay, so that's the i sound. Right, let's move on to e sound, where people tend to have problems because e can be written, spelt in lots of different ways. So first let me talk about how you pronounce this sound. Make a big smile. I, I. Let me show you my mouth here. I, I. So this time the tongue's right down and it's a long sound with a smile on your face. So as I mentioned, you're going to have to learn when you have to make I sound rather than I sound. So some common common ways of writing this sound would be double E, like I see you. Or maybe a buzzing bee, bzzz, you know, the guys who make honey. Um, but it also can be spelt with a lot of other different ways. So maybe you have key, E-Y also making an E sound. Also you have E-O, like people. There's lots of people here. Well, not here. And you have some other variations, like uh, sometimes E-A, or even E, the letter, or I. It just depends. You really have to learn it. So, What's very important, and I'm going to stress to you throughout this course of improving your pronunciation, is to know and understand the phonetic alphabet of English so that you can check every word and check exactly how it's pronounced. Whether the word has a E long or an I. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any interesting examples or questions about these sounds, please put them down below. And uh, I hope you look forward to my next couple of lessons, which will cover lots of different sounds and lots of different ways you can improve your pronunciation in English. So if you like the videos, remember to subscribe and I look forward to teaching you soon. This has been me, Charles Wood, English teacher. 
I love teaching. You love watching.